You're watching ABC4 News with Emily Flores, Emily Clark, and Alana Brophy. Well, every year in the U.S., an estimated 10,000 people are diagnosed with cancer of the bile duct and liver, also known as cholangiocarcinoma. Well, joining us now, Stacey Lindsay, CEO and founder of the Cholangiocarcinoma Foundation and 12-year survivor Melinda Bikini. Thank you both for joining us here today. We really appreciate this. Let's start off with Stacey. You shared what influenced the foundation's creation. Yeah, my, in 2005, my uh, older brother, Mark Clements, was diagnosed with cholangiocarcinoma. He'd just mm. run the St. George Marathon. Wow. Young, 38 years old. His wife was just uh, a couple of months away from having their fourth child. And um, he came home with a diagnosis from his oncologist that he had a terminal cancer. And we just, I, it just did not seem possible. So we just started to do research. There was no standard of care, meaning that there's no specific treatment pathway lined out for a patient who's diagnosed with cholangiocarcinoma. There were no resources online. Oh. There, was, there, was, there were no support, there was nothing. There were no, no resources at all. And so um, we decided as a family what we need to do was connect with other families. So we yes. started a discussion board and we started, a lot of families started coming together and we started talking about what, you know, what, what's happening at the different institutions, what kind of care were the patients getting and just trying to help each other. And then as those patients started to pass away, the families wanted to do something. And as Mark, Mark lived about 16 months. Mm. And toward the end, when he knew he was going to pass away, he just you know, asked what, you know, what, what we were going to do. Mm. And he just said, you know, I think we've, we need to start a foundation. There will be patients who won't have families mm. helping them and we'll need to help them. So we started the foundation and um, this is our 15th anniversary. Wow. So Incredible. a lot has changed in yeah, that time. Yeah, talk about that. So the, the 15th anniversary, what milestones are you most proud of? And then of course, what you're still striving to achieve. You've done so much in 15 years. Yeah. What lies ahead? So in the last, I would say, um, we had kind of a paradigm shift in the science in the last six or seven years when personalized medicine, which is biomarkers and these kinds of personalized testing came about. And um, we've had uh, three uh, FDA approved treatments in the last year and a half, which is huge. We've never huge. had anything approved right. by the FDA. We have uh, we ha got a standard of care in 2010, which was not a good standard of care, but it was something. It was something. But we have something coming up, which we're hopeful we're going to have a new standard of care. And um, there's a lot, uh, kind of an explosion of science this year. So we're really looking forward to getting the readouts of that data and uh, new treatment options for the patients. So there's a lot of hope, a lot of science going on. Uh, we are a research foundation, so we've, uh, we've done about two million, a little more than two million dollars in research wow. we've funded. And we just continue to, as donations come in from those families, we continue to put it out into innovative research. You know, just a huge thank you to your family to get this ball rolling and for all the other families that are benefiting because of it. Let's talk, Melinda, real quickly. Yes. We have just less than a minute, but tell yes. us how you were launched the newly diagnosed program and how people can get involved with that. Sure. We started the newly diagnosed program this year in August, and we wanted to provide um, newly diagnosed patients with resources and educational materials to help them navigate this diagnosis. Um, it's really important to get a second opinion when you're okay. diagnosed from an expert in this disease so that they know the right treatments right. and know about all the research that's being done. It's especially important to have biomarker testing done on the tumor tissue. So we really encourage patients to do that as soon as possible because that can open up all sorts of treatment options with targeted therapies, yeah. immunotherapies, and clinical trials. So we provide them with a little care kit, um, little comfort items, hat, gloves, just different things when they sign in for it. Okay. And then we send them resources and sign them up for support groups and mentors and just give them the support they need to navigate this diagnosis so they know that they're not alone in this journey. Which is huge, such yes. a comfort when you get such a big bad bombshell. News. Bad news, bad yes. news that yes. changes your life, changes your world. Forever. Thank you so much ladies for coming in today. For all of this information, for those at home, if this struck a chord and you need more information, of course, head to abc4.com. We will have it all there to link this information that was shared today, such important information. Thank you again. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you.